I noticed that the ported ones, I think those go down to 19 and the sealed ones go down to like 14. So I'm curious as to why the sealed ones go lower than, and I know the ported, like you tune them to whatever, but I just thought, cause usually it's like the other way around. So how did you guys come up with that? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's actually an advantage of an acoustic seal uh, box essentially. So <clears throat> Gonna get a little bit of technical here now. Uh, every single speaker cabinet, whether it's ported, whether it's sealed, whether it's passive radiator, don't care what transmission line, don't care what it is, it's a high pass filter. So it's rolling off low frequencies. That's just what they do. That's how they physically act. Um, a ported box rolls off a lot faster than a sealed box, but it tends to start rolling off at a lower frequency. So depending upon how you tune the speaker itself, and the cabinet, you can actually have the sealed box starting to roll off a little earlier, but very shallow. The ported box will cut off like that. And so when you measure at a given frequency point, oftentimes you can be lower with a sealed box. That's also why sealed boxes tend to sound a little better in room and play lower and cleaner and, and flatter in room. They tend to integrate better with that roll off with the room gain that you typically get. Whereas a ported box would come and fold down. And so you get like a bump and then a drop off kind of a thing. So it, it's just a different way of, of tuning the systems up. Um, but yeah, the, the ported box is going to give you more output, but the sealed box is going to put a little deeper. So, you know, which, which do you want? So if this is your first time visiting the channel. Why don't you consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss when I upload new videos just like this. And I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon members. And if you're not a Patreon member and you want to consider subscribing to that, then I'll leave a link in the description where you can check that out. Yeah, I've been, uh, so I've always... I pretty much always had ported subwoofers until Stark Sound, and I've always been a ported guy. But I'm kind of thinking now. I think I might start doing the the, the seal thing because uh, you know, sir, you know, you're you're gonna get port chuffing at some point. Obviously, if you drive a, a a ported subwoofer below its rated, you know, frequency response, it's gonna chuff. And with sealed, you know, they may not have as much output, but I mean, they can go pretty deep, and it's gonna be like tight and efficient. So. Yeah, yeah, and you know, actually, you're better off having multiple seals than one large ported, uh, and scattering them around the room. You're tending to get a flatter response over a larger area um, than just pile them all in a corner. So yeah, that's a that's a pretty common technique. But yeah, it's, it comes down to quality versus quantity, and both of them are right. <laughs> it's whatever you want. There's no such thing as wrong. I, I do a lot of podcasts. I do a lot of interviews and magazine interviews and a lot of TV shows. Um, um, of course, trade shows and things like that. And, you know, um, uh, I'm always often asked, what's the best speaker out there? My, or what's the best system out there? And my answer always is, I'll tell you the exact best speaker once you tell me the right amount of salt and pepper to put on a steak. It's 100% it's, it's individual. There's no such thing as a flat answer.